All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mars transit into Aquarius. This is a very interesting transit. Today is 7th May and drikpanchang.com says Mars is Mars entered on 4th May, a bit late in making this video, and it will enter Mean Rashi on 18th June. 2020 at 5 11 pm this is according to german time central european time ct and then on 16th august it will enter mesh rashi which is aries and yes mean is pisces of course and then it again will enter mean rashi pisces on 3rd october because mars is going to be retrograde and then it finally enters Aries again on 23rd December. So very interesting transit for Mars. And Mars is finally out of the dreaded conjunction with Saturn. <laughs> Saturn-Mars conjunction, very deadly in astrology. It's the most feared. It's, it's not that bad after all. But if, if it is used properly, then it's very good. Otherwise, it can wreak havoc in your life. All right, so today let's discuss about this transit of Mars in Aquarius. And because Aquarius is the sign of people, other people basically, it's the original 11th house. So it is also the sign of socializing, not socializing exactly. It is and it is not. So what is Aquarius? So how do you differentiate Aquarius from Gemini? Gemini represents <coughs> those communications which you have for a short period of time it doesn't mean they are they are superficial but they're for very short span and then you have libra i'm talking of the kama houses 3 7 11 the air signs then you have libra libra represents those things which you do for somebody else you do something for somebody else so that they can do something for you in return so that's what libra is and then what is aquarius aquarius means you and i come together to do something for somebody else that is aquarius <laughs> so therefore aquarius means we we think of ourselves no doubt but we also think of others we think of other people others who are close to us who are not close to us who are away from us who are near to us everybody else especially so therefore now whenever a planet transits aquarius there's this very beautiful dynamic which comes when a planet transits capricorn what happens you have a tendency to uh, be very practical what is the meaning of the word practical practical in a way means selfish <laughs> not selfish exactly but it means self-centered so many times people tell me uh, they have had five or six relationships and uh, now when they get into a new relationship they are not too much thinking of love they are thinking of practicality so what is practicality practicality means you are thinking of yourself basically more not that you are not thinking of the other person but you are thinking more if uh, it will make you happy rather than you know uh, making that person happy not that you only want to make yourself happy but that's what it means when you say uh, being practical which means you will secure your ground first and then you will look for others so therefore when a planet transits now uh, that's not bad that is good because in a way that is good because they say charity begins at home so if you are happy then only you can make others happy okay so therefore being practical is good if you see it in that sense <clears throat> that many times i see people get into relationships but they're not happy themselves within so now when mars had transited into capricorn you would have realized this now how do you realize what mars wanted to tell you well you check the houses which mars rules in your house depending on your ascendant okay so depending on that you might have realized that 
there were certain areas in your life depending on your on, on the ascendant lagna rising sign okay not moon sign you would have realized that certain things you were uh, forced to look within <laughs> and mars gets exalted in capricorn <clears throat> all right and therefore for mars that capricorn energy is very harmonious because mars is about survival so if you wanted to survive then you must think about yourself okay nothing wrong in that but now when this planet of survival enters aquarius aquarius is also the sign ruled by saturn but it is also ruled by rahu so therefore during this time you will see that uh, the houses which mars rules in your chart they i'm not saying that they will go for a compromise but you will be ready to do things which will make others happy so it's a very beautiful time whenever mars transits aquarius why because mars has gone from its exaltation sign mar the transit of mars in aquarius is very good always why because it is the only planet which comes out from exaltation so imagine a planet who is having all the power and all the strength and then wants to improve society so that's why mars transit in aquarius is always very good now very good does not mean that there will be no bad events or there will be no disasters okay uh, in fact uh, today or yesterday only i heard in india there was this uh, in uh, south india there was some problem and there was this gas leakage or so, so some problem was there i don't know exactly that's very unfortunate but the point is whatever happens either good or bad but most important is that we will realize that we we are one unit actually so the society will realize that we have to come together we have to think of others also we cannot just keep thinking about ourselves that will not solve the problem in the long run now mars transit in capricorn gave you this power okay and now when it goes into aquarius you will see that you can achieve much more in that domain regarding which Mar the areas which mars rules in your chart uh, as per your ascendant you will uh, you will perform much better because now you will be able to see the opinions of others also because when mars transits capricorn it becomes very self centered i won't say selfish but self centered you can say so because of that what happens <coughs> because of that you think that what you know is all in all but when mars enters aquarius you will realize that many things which others had told you before regarding those houses which mars rules they will actually start making more sense you will be shocked you will be surprised to see this so for example uh, suppose uh, mars is ruling some uh, suppose mars rules your fifth house for example so i have seen uh, if mars rules your fifth and uh, when mars transits aquarius for these people i have seen that sometimes they are very particular that my first child because fifth house is the first child or children in general for you my, my children should be like this my children should learn engineering in india or should give the upsc exam ias exam or learn medical science or law these are like cream streams in india and of course in many parts of the world also so but now when mars transits aquarius if mars is your fifth lord you you can get this feeling that no it's not necessary that my child has to be a doctor or engineer that my child can be a painter my child can be a singer or a artist or anybody a film star or maybe an astronomer <laughs> all right so therefore it's very crucial that you try to see when this transit happens till 18 june it's very crucial that you try to check what is in the what is for the overall good of the person what is the best don't just check career because the if suppose mars is your fifth lord then if this career thing comes up for your child so 
the career is not everything career is a very important part these days especially but if the person is more happy in doing something else then even if the person becomes a very good engineer or a very good doctor but internally the person will be miserable because the person is not uh, happy doing something uh, which which you you wanted so therefore when mars transits aquarius this is the best time to take guidance regarding those houses from others from whom especially elders in your family or any anybody else who is experienced in that particular area because aquarius represents those people who are very experienced so you check the houses which mars rules in your chart you can go and you can take guidance from anybody so if you are learning astrology you should actually this is the best time to go and get a mentor for those for or or or, or any guidance may not be some formal guidance but some kind of guidance has to be there and guidance means not some pessimistic idea that oh actually my life is going down so somebody come and protect me help me no 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 that sort of a guidance it is that sort of a guidance that you are here you did everything now how to go ahead and there are many ways many paths many routes but what should you select so therefore this is the best time to approach a mentor or some senior in that domain who is very experienced so suppose you your mars is your fifth lord so then and yeah of course disclaimer uh, whatever i am saying here now whoever has mars as the fifth lord you start commenting my jupiter is here my pluto is here my uranus is here my neptune is here what will happen my earth is here <laughs> all right so it depends on your entire horoscope and your dashas okay so whatever your dashas will indicate that will happen but when i'm saying mars as the fifth lord these things can happen that is with an assumption so now if you are 12 years old or you are 85 years old or even 75 when you are watching this video and then uh, me for 75 it may 85 it may still work but suppose you are 15 years old so uh, most likely you will not have a kid right so therefore if you think this will hold to for you you are being misled here because whenever astrology is to be uh, understood you must also study desh kal patra time place circumstances okay so in some parts of the world there is early marriage so maybe if a person who is in 30s uh, not not 30s late 20s if in that part of the world where they are born or where they are stay there is early marriage then they might have a kid but for somebody it may be 35 somebody it may be 45 somebody it may be 55 okay and that person has to be married otherwise i mean the person may not have a kid so you have to take care these desh kal patra things okay if you don't and you blindly judge or oh, then it doesn't work so maybe if you are 15 years old mars may represent creativity for you okay and even for a 35 year old man who has two kids mars may also represent creativity so that will depend on your dashas what your whatever your dashas are indicating the transits will flow accordingly so suppose your dashas are indicating the ninth house especially or the ninth lord is activated somehow then fifth house is the house of mantra so you might get a mantra diksha from a guru or you might get guidance from somebody that oh go and get diksha from this guru this is how it happens okay so therefore don't just blindly take all the fifth lord mars people they will have this okay so and if your dasha is indicating uh, that you will get some name fame position then uh, this can also happen or you might go and take guidance from somebody who can help you in becoming more famous any anything of this sort can happen so ultimately depends on your dashas which planets are there in the fifth house what your what your fifth lord is doing in the horoscope how much are you inclined uh, so this is very too especially i have seen planets in kendras so if your lords of certain houses are sitting in kendras then when major planets transit those houses so let's take an example here so as i said fifth lord so suppose your mars is in kendra as the fifth lord okay so then this transit of mars in the fifth will be very prominent because originally 
that planet which is now transiting that lord uh, okay uh, sorry not mars in kendra uh, aquarius is loaded by saturn so suppose saturn is in your kendra okay oh, so, sorry i said uh, mars is the fifth lord so suppose uh, mars is in kendra or even if saturn is the fifth lord even, even if saturn is there okay or even if mars was transiting somewhere in aries or scorpio even if then this would happen if mars would be in your kendra okay so or if rahu is in kendra then also this can happen for you okay so then i have seen these transits become very important especially okay so therefore you check your dashas and see what is going on otherwise you may be confused okay but again irrespective of where your mars or your saturn is or where your rahu is wherever whoever is so considering you have seen the deshkal patra and your horoscope and your dashas these things will play a big role in your horoscope okay and especially if you have quite a few planets in the 11th house or in aquarius then these transits become more prominent actually so i have seen if suppose you have too many planets in 9000 then planets transiting sagittarius will give you major uh, changes in life if you have too many planets in 7000 then planets transiting in libra will give you a lot of changes because that energy is very prominent even though your ascendant may be different so <clears throat> therefore it's very crucial that you uh, analyze the dashas and only then you study transits if you do the reverse you will end up in a disaster you will fail miserably and this has happened with so many people every day i get 10 mails oh my venus transit at 7th house why did i not find some spouse okay so venus will transit 7th house every year so does it mean every year you will get married <laughs> no it doesn't mean that so you are doing reverse engineering which is stupidity in this case you cannot analyze transits and then go to dashas okay this is like saying i will first go to the bathroom and then eat no it doesn't work like that <laughs> although you may do that in the morning but first you 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 have to eat something right only then you can uh, i mean <laughs> okay so don't 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 do reverse engineering and astrology follow the structure first horoscope planets yogas then dashas then transits okay please follow this triangle if you don't you will fail miserably i will fail you will fail even pass ceremony will fail <laughs> okay so therefore this is a very important principle which i am highlighting and amidst of all this you can always feel that uh, there is a need for more harmony and there's a need for uh, accepting others opinion also during this transit okay because now what will happen is uh, you will try to understand how can i fit myself into the larger world view that is also very crucial or how can i fit see uh, fit the larger world view in my context okay either ways this this is very crucial because ultimately once till the time you do not unite yourself with the world view your world view in harmony with the world view then uh, you won't be very successful in whichever area of life now of course you could be radically different that's that's a separate story but the thing is that you must align yourself with the world view and even if you say oh i am not aligning myself with the world view but the ultimate purpose have to be solved so suppose you say oh i don't like this political party i'll form my political party but even if you don't like some political party your agenda has to be same agenda means now you may say oh if i don't like that party then how can my agenda be same what i am saying is your ultimate goal should be same which means that political party wants to uh, help people let's say you there's some good political party who wants to do that and suppose let's assume you want to open a very good political party who also wants to do it. so the ultimate agenda has to be we want to help people we want to serve the public that has to be the agenda then you can say although we have difference of opinion but our ideas are actually uh, the same with uh, everybody else okay whichever political party it is so therefore uh, during this transit try to align your uh, views with the world view and try to see uh, how you can uh, improve yourself more as a person from the perspective of the society not just uh, with your own petty goals okay because then uh, you may be happy temporarily but permanently you will be miserable all right So this is a very beautiful transit please use this properly
and as i said whatever is in your dashas ultimately happens and it's it will speak according to the transits okay later first dashas or oh sorry first your horoscope and your planets then dashas then transits all right thank you very much for your patience and as usual if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit based on your dashas and your individual horoscope you can always go to my description section down below in the videos okay what is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him